So how important is exercise and how can I make sure that I'm implementing that into my life every day? Hello everyone, this is Andrea with Revitalizing Your Health and today I want to come and talk to you about balanced living again. And this time it's part eight of a nine part series and the E equals exercise for movement. So how important is exercise? Why do we need it? What does it do for me? And why is it so important? So here are a few benefits of exercise. It improves cardiovascular health. It strengthens our muscles and our bones. It boosts our immune function. It increases energy levels and endurance. And I can verify this in my own life. When I do not exercise, my energy goes down and I also lose that endurance. But as I exercise every day, or at least four to five times a week, I can see such a difference. Now, not only is it good physically, what about our mental health benefits? So it reduces stress, anxiety, and depression. It boosts mood through endorphin release. And that is that feel good feelings that we get. It's that feel good hormones that make us feel so great. And I know for me, it makes a real difference in my mood. You know, if you're having a really tough day and you're not feeling the best, get out and take a walk or go for a swim or get on your treadmill or your little trampoline or whatever it is. Do something to get moving and it will definitely make a difference in your mood. So what are the long-term effects on our health? How does it impact us to have exercise in our lives? Well, it reduces risk of chronic disease such as heart disease, diabetes, and a lot of other things that come into our lives. It improves longevity and quality of life. Who doesn't want a better quality of life? I know I sure do. And that's why I want to be so determined to fit in my exercise so that I can feel so much better. It also, when it comes to our mental health, it also enhances focus and mental clarity. If we get out in some fresh air when we're struggling with mental clarity and take some really deep breaths and do some deep breathing and do some exercise, it actually gives clarity to our minds. So that's another way that it is so beneficial to our bodies, our physical and mental bodies. So I would encourage you, no matter what your fitness level is, start to exercise. If need be, you may need to talk to your physician and ask them what steps to take to get started if you have some real chronic health issues. But I would encourage you to get started today and work up slowly to be able to do more and more exercise and you will feel better and better. Now, there are some common um, challenges to exercising and some of those are, you know, typical muscle soreness or lack of motivation or joint discomfort. And because of those things, we may like not want to exercise. I know when I go out and exercise, I'm going to hurt more. So I'm just not going to exercise. Reality is the more we do it, the less that we will have those discomforts, but getting started can be difficult. I know that I have some products I like to use that really help me in those areas of maybe not feeling motivated or having that discomfort after I exercise. There's things I can do before and after that really help me. Stretching is an amazing thing you can also do that helps with that. But here's some products I wanna share with you that really help me. And one of them is called Deep Blue Rub. Now this is just a sample uh, package, but that actually comes in a tube. And this is just a rub on to whatever area of discomfort you might be having. If you know of an area that usually bothers you, you could put it on before and after. But my favorite is, is this Deep Blue Stick. 
and it's just a roll on. It's easy to roll on wherever. And often I will carry it with me when I'm running or hiking. And if I start having any discomfort in my knee or in the calves of my legs, I will just rub this on and it is very supportive and really helpful. There's also another product, it's called Deep Blue Polyphenol Complex, and it is a good one that you could take before or even after that also helps with some of those discomforts to exercise. And those are some things I really love. Now, another one that's great is peppermint. And this peppermint oil would be more for getting motivation. And I know I just love to smell it. You can actually put some in the palm of your hand and just breathe it in and it just helps get you awake and motivated to start doing something. And I just love peppermint. I also like to rub it on the back of my neck. Some people may need to put it with some like fractionated coconut oil or other oil that they can dilute it with if it bothers their skin. But for me, I'm able to just put it directly on and it just wakes me up and gets me motivated. And it just motivates me to get out there and exercise. And I just love how it makes me feel. There's also another one that I like to use and that is copaiba oil. And you can get it in a bottle or you can get it in a soft gel. And this, you could directly put it on your skin or a drop under your tongue and it can help with discomforts or you can just take it internally with um, the soft gel. Either way, it can be very supportive in recovery of muscle and also calms the nervous system and promotes a relaxed recovery after exercise. So that's another great one to use right after your exercise or even before. And I love these products to help support me in my exercise routine. So let's recap a little bit. You can apply the deep blue rub on muscles before and after exercise. Use peppermint oil for pre-workout energy boost. Take deep blue polyphenol complex to manage post-workout discomfort. You can diffuse the peppermint or copaiba to create a calm, focused atmosphere before or after workouts. And that, of course, is when you're inside to do your workouts, but you can also put those in your hands, drops of them, rub them together, and just breathe them in and you get the same effect. So that is another way of doing it. All of these have been a benefit for me during my exercise routines to help promote energy, to help support my muscles and my bones so that I don't have as much discomfort. And I know that when I went for uh, my 50K run walk, I used a lot of the, the deep blue uh, roll on and on my knee and it was very helpful. And so these are products that I just love. And if you have an interest in trying them, there's a spot in the description where you can go and you can actually check them out. And I would encourage you to do that. So how are you doing with your exercise routine? I hope you have it down. If not, I would encourage you to start today. Start out small, do a little bit each day, and eventually, you will be able to do more and more and you will feel so much better. Exercise is a part of our balanced living. And so we want to make sure that we get that in several times a week, every day if we can. And I just encourage you with that today. If you have any questions or you need help with anything, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be glad to be there for you through this journey of learning how to have balanced living in your life. And I encourage you today to keep going and keep strong. And until next time, keep healthy and God bless. If in any way you have been blessed by this video, please share, like, and subscribe to help me grow. And in advance, thank you.